Sie, er kam auch in den Ohr. Hello, world. Okay, um, I can't explain that. So I, <coughs> I wanted to build a standing desk. And I thought, I'll just put this table on this table and then I have a standing desk. Problem is, this height is a little bit too high. If I work like this, oh God. If I work like this, like my shoulders would constantly be. It, it would need to be like 10 centimeters lower. And this, unfortunately, I can't change. I could just like cut it off here. Like just get a saw and just cut it off here. Maybe I should do that. But damn it. I want a standing desk. I really want a standing desk. Maybe I'll find another table. I don't know. But um... That's the same height. <laughs> okay, so now after the call yesterday I had with my friend who is a designer and logo designer, I am now 99designs.com to get the logo design for Project 33. And it's a super interesting process. I don't know if I can go back. Can you go back? Uh, no. Okay, so the first step was that there was a bunch of examples of logos and you basically pick uh, like five logos or whatever out of that selection that resonates with you the most, that you like in general, the theme, the design, <clears throat> which basically helps the other designers to figure out like what's your style and what do you like. Then the second step is to Code in your email, background information, so what name, Project 33. Then here you can add a slogan if you have a slogan. If you don't, you leave it empty. Then you describe what you do and your target audience. So I wrote, Project 33 is personal branding as a service. We work with impact-driven entrepreneurs and startup founders, and we only work with a select group of clientele, scarcity, we are a young team of practitioners who work at the leading edge of personal branding. We love to experiment, try new things and innovate. Even though we are young, young and experimental, we know what we are doing. Select industry, yeah, I don't know exactly what's the correct technology or internet or I don't know. But I'm going to go with technology. Um, and uh, yeah, then you go with logo design. So that's two ninety nine. <clears throat> you can also get like website stuff or your business cards and data hats. They developed, um, but yeah. Oh yeah, and then you can also add anything else. Um, I added name could also be P three three thirty three project thirty three dot io. Doesn't have to be thirty three. And then you, if you have something already like a logo or illustrations or content, you can attach that. I don't <coughs> I don't want to attach the thing that I did on canvas because it might just give them the wrong idea of saying that this is what I want but um maybe I should add it oh yeah also the the one the other step after you selected the couple of um designs that you like then you choose your color theme you choose like three colors um, out of all the colors that you want to use. So blacks, whites, reds, blues, da, 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 and you choose three. Or you can also say, let the designer choose if you have literally no clue, but I chose blacks, whites, and purple. <clears throat> yes, I'm gonna keep you updated. Okay, and then the next step is you choose your package. So I'm gonna choose bronze with will give you like 30 designs they say and you get the money back guarantee which means if you don't find a um, logo you like <clears throat> you get your money back more designs here you get more designs and a larger uh, and only top level designers and then here you get I don't know prioritize support but I'm gonna go with the with the cheapest one then you actually create a contest title which apparently makes a difference on like how interested designers will be to make it they give you like some example um, then you can promote your contest, um, feature, highlight, blog, which will get you more design. So it's literally a contest, like 
designers then will choose whether they want to participate or not. And so you, you might want to get it in front of more designers. Um, but I don't think I'm going to use any of these. And then your contest options. Obviously, you can do guaranteed, which means basically you're giving up your money back guarantee. Um, but that also means for the designers that you are you are guaranteed to pay a designer um, because you don't have your money back guarantee anymore, which will in in general attract more um, designers. They say fifty percent more designers on average. Um, wider range of creativity, but you lose your. But I'm not going to do that. And then private contests, if you need an NDA and stuff, that's extra. And then you choose your turnaround. Standard is seven days, but you can also have 24 hours and stuff. Alrighty, the contest is now live. And now I can actually show you the, the stuff that I didn't show you before. So this is the part where you choose your colors. You can also hear this is let designers make suggestions, any others. And then this is what you fill out. This is like, you know, style, classic or modern, mature or youthful, feminine, masculine, playful, sophisticated, economical or luxurious, geometric or organic, abstract and literal. So I filled it out this way. And this was the part where you choose designs that you liked. And these were designs that I liked. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. And I think there is a theme here, isn't there? With like something here and then the name under there. Let's see if they come up with an animal though, because we don't have an animal anyway. I love this also. Um, yeah, let's see if we get designs. I'm gonna keep you guys updated. I'm super interested. Um, if anything comes out of that, what the designs will be, how many we'll get. Um, so I'm gonna let you guys know. Damn, we already got an update on the 99 designs. So how long ago was it now? I think I put it up 11, maybe four hours ago. So I put it up four hours ago and we got 22 designs in. So this is what we got so far. And so there are some very shitty ones like this, for example, like this is bullshit. This is crap. But on the flip side, there are also some very interesting ones. I think this is interesting. I think this one is super interesting with the two threes overlapped and it's kind of looking interesting. I think this is interesting, the, the design of the 33. I think this is interesting. I think this is kind of boring. There was one that I think this looks super interesting i don't know <laughs> what the what the skull hat stands for but i don't know this is pretty average Eh, not liking this so much Eh, eh. this is bullshit p oh wow that's an interesting concept so i don't like how it looks but see what they did there it's it's just a p but it's three stripes here and three stripes here for 33. This is an interesting concept. See, that's the thing. I could have never come up, come up with this shit. And just this alone gives me, you know, stuff. And I think actually now my job is to rate these. One star. This gets two stars. This gets one star. Uh, I don't haven't decided on this one yet. So this gets two stars. This, uh, this gets one star. This is just boring. So let's first sort out the boring ones. This is fucking bullshit. This is fucking bullshit. It's not too bad. I guess yeah. Like, you see this guy put in like three different ones. Get R put in three different ones. These are all by the same guy. But I like this dude what he did with the threes. Yeah. So I'm gonna rate these now and then, um, yeah, I don't know what the next step is. Confirm finalists, I guess. Oh, you th select six finalists, I think. But it's still going for four days, the contest. So I'm not sure how many, 
how many um, more we're gonna get, but this is already pretty dope. Oh my god, this is so fucking cool. So we got new entries um, already. We're now at, what are we now? Uh, 30, so, and it's like 10 minutes later. But the super cool thing is, you can, number one, you have a private chat with every single one of the designers. So for example, where is he? Um, the guy who designed currently my favorite ones, which are these this, this, and this, he designed all of them. So those are my favorites right now. And so I went to him and I said, you know, I just gave him feedback directly on that. And like, yo, definitely my favorite one so far. They're already conveying a lot of our values, playful, modern, and innovative. Wanted to throw you curveballs, Steve Jobs, da 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 Mystery is also a big part. And then, or this dude, like he put together, he put together, this one with the three dots, uh, three lines, which is super cool. And I gave him feedback. I said, I like this idea a lot, two things. The P looks too bulky and maybe we can combine the P written that way while still incorporating the 33. So people on the first glance see that it's more than just a P. And then he put together this after like two minutes, two minutes later, he got back to me. Nice, 33 plays a big role. Now he made this, but he, incorporating adjust the letter p also so it's not so bulky so like and you can send out messages to all designers you can update your brief so if you like oh you know i i had some ideas or some suggestions or whatever and um yeah you just see them coming in in real time i could just spend my whole day here this is super interesting in my opinion, like I, I don't like the color so much. I don't like the type, the, the font so much, but this idea of, because what we're doing right now with the Steve Jobs thing is like, can we use Steve Jobs? But this is kind of doing it without, you know, going into showing a very specific person. Um, and then, oh yeah, what you can also do, you can comment directly on the logo. So you can add a comment here or add a comment here, you know, and just say like, hey, the P looks kind of da 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 da. And this is fucking dope. I'm excited for this, what's gonna come out of this. And it's still going for three and a half more days. <sighs> I just got back from the gym and I realized that I'm in a good rhythm right now. I like it. I'm, I'm doing the same thing every day, but I'm enjoying it. I'm happy and um, I'm excited to wake up in the morning. I'm excited to go to the gym and like get better at that and hopefully not lose my hair. I'm excited to, you know, get in the zone and um, get some work done. So I know that I've, basically not experience anything yet in Bali of all that it has to offer but I'm fine with that and I think it's gonna change I think I am gonna go out and do some of these activities um, but right now I'm I'm happy with with not having seen everything and I mean on the 29th I'm going to Singapore for a night which is exciting and then after that actually I think the plan is for New Year's so I'm going to Singapore on the 29th in the morning, coming back on the 30th at night, and then on the 31st, I'm going to an island here, another island, because Indonesia has a lot of islands. Bali is just one of them. There's, there are literally thousands of them, and a lot of them are still inhabited. There are no people, but we're not going to one of these islands. I think we're going to the one that's next to Bali, and just staying there for a night um, with a couple of the people who live at this house um, and just spend New Year's there and then get back on the first and then get back into the grind. But that's the plan. Have two calls now. Um, one with a person who reached out on LinkedIn and wants to talk a bit about, I think she's freelancing, but I forgot. I've got to look it up now. And then a client call. And um, that's it. I appreciate you and see you tomorrow. Peace out. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot But why now? Holy shit, I just wanna make